YouTube, welcome to my channel. I just took a shower as you can tell by my soaking wet hair. I'm gonna let that air dry for a bit before I dry it. But as soon as I get out of the shower, I have to put on like moisturizer, everything. Otherwise my skin gets so dry so fast. So I already heated up the PMD cleanser. This is the heating side. Man, I love, love this thing. I hope it goes on sale for Black Friday because I feel like it is so worth it just to have this, especially if you love serums like I do. You just apply the serums on here. They warm up, helps with better absorption, all that good stuff. It just feels so nice. I said this so many times, but it just feels like you're getting giving yourself a little mini facial. I decided I need to wash my hair today because, okay. <laughs> Crazy thought. I had a hair appointment beginning of November. I had to reschedule it because it didn't work out. And then I had to reschedule it again because I have no one to watch my kids. It's just not working out. So I scheduled it for December and it's been such a long time. I was hoping to do tape and hair extensions. I purchased some tape and extensions, some Lily hair. I've used their extensions several times in the past, different kinds. I've used their halo tape-ins, seamless tape-ins. Um, and for me personally, out of all the extensions I've tried, those are the best quality wise. Like they are very good quality. So they might be more expensive than something you'd find on Amazon. But for me, I have worked with them in the past and they are just one of those brands that you work with and you end up falling in love with, at least for me. And I purchased some tapins for myself, the same color that I had last year. It's like a chocolate brown with almost like a caramelly warm blonde of sorts, caramel highlights. I'll show you guys. And disclaimer, I probably wouldn't recommend this at home especially if you don't know what you're doing and um but i feel like i used to do my hair all the time I used to color it all the time my hair was not in the best condition when i used to color it myself back in like 16 i was like 15 16 17 up until like my early 20s i used to color my hair and i would just use the box color from walmart or whatever and it worked but my hair obviously was not at its best and then i met julie and she's amazing but I feel like I'm the kind of person that I will research something and I kind of know what I'm doing. My friend actually um, does her own tapins and she has great success with it. You want to make sure you're placing them properly. You don't want too little hair. You don't want it tugging on your hair because it can damage your hair if you don't put it in properly. That's why I say disclaimer, don't do this at home. I just thought I would film because I'm the one taking the risk here. And you know, whatever at this point, I'm like, whatever, I don't care. And I'm only going to do like two pieces here maybe like a few pieces here in the front and then cut it because they are 16 i think they're 16 inches just because my hair lately i've just I, I just don't like it i don't know i'm having it's like not here not there it's like an awkward length the ends are super thin looking and i always have my end up putting my hair in a low bun just because i'm not happy with it so i figured let me just apply some tape ins worst case scenario you hate it you can remove them they're not permanent there's they're fairly easy to remove um at least with lily hair sometimes you'll get like really bad tape that's like so hard to remove that happened to me last time i bought some off of amazon horrible experience haven't tried tape in since but i decided to go back to lily hair because i feel like if you find a good product um lily hair just hasn't disappointed me so i thought i would do that in today's video kind of like do my own tape ins with Joe. <laughs> If Julie's watching this, she's probably gonna kill me. She's like, what are you doing? I don't know. All right, I'm gonna start off by blow drying my hair. I have this styler here. It's kind of like the Dyson dupe almost because it has different attachments, but you can't really, it doesn't have as much control, I would say in terms of heat and stuff. And it's obviously like a cheaper knockoff, but before I just, in case somebody asks me in the comments, thought it would say what it is it does have like the curling ones too i don't even know if they sell this anymore i just saw an ad for it i think it was on snapchat and i was like let me try that i did review it in a video but i'm gonna blow dry my hair using this attachment here i like it because it kind of like straightens and reduces the frizz <laughs> all right you guys i um went ahead and actually applied one and it was too close like I can feel it was too close I didn't like how it felt so I went ahead and removed it and the removal oil just took it right out I don't know if it's because it was just freshly applied so I didn't have to worry about you know it didn't like fully set in or whatever but I'm just taking off the old tape 
it comes right off and you they sent me new tape that you can apply on top of this and reuse them so the lily hair i feel like you can actually reuse and you want to get all the hair out of the way so that you're not snagging any other hair just make sure you get it all out of the way and the technique that i saw or the technique that i'm going to use usually when you go to the salon what they do is they'll section off the perfect amount of hair they know exactly how much to section off take off the tape place it underneath you don't want it too close you don't want it too far and then they're going to take another one take off that tape and sandwich it on top but i saw a few techniques online where what they'll do is take one take off the tape place it right here and then when you lift it up because of the tape hair will automatically stick to that sticky side and it is like evenly dispersed you don't have to worry about any missing pieces so when you pick it up the hair is already stuck to it you'll pick it up and then you just take your other one upside down and sandwich it on top so definitely easier method than at least for me personally that we don't have to worry about am i doing too much hair too little whatever so let's give this a try i'm i'm pretty nervous but i'm just gonna try one i'm just gonna try one don't do it girl it's not worth it i'm not gonna do it girl i did it all right all righty my ears are like so red i feel like because i'm So to be honest, I thought I applied, I thought this was going to be too far the first time I did it, but I applied it and it felt like it was too close to the scalp. So this time I'm placing it a little bit farther out and then when you lift it, whatever hair kind of like sticks to the tape, that's what you're going to sandwich together. I don't even know if you guys saw what I just did there, but it's just literally the smallest amount of hair. And now I'm going to take another piece. You're gonna take off that hair, uh, that tape. Some of the hair is stuck to the tape, so make sure there's no hair stuck to the tape. Otherwise, it's gonna be annoying when you're trying to brush it out. And then this, you're gonna flip upside down and just sandwich it on top. Yeah, this one I don't feel like it's too close to my scalp because the other one I felt like it was tugging, so I had to remove it. Some people use a uh, straightener and they'll kind of like clamp it for the extra heat protection. I don't do that and my hairstylist doesn't do that. I went ahead and like trimmed this the tiniest bit. I just took some scissors and kind of did like jaggedy cuts so that it's not too blunt. I didn't want it to be too blunt and this is the end result. Definitely filled in a lot of the volume here. This is without it cut. I added the other two right here. Just added like a sandwich right here. And those are like the only two pieces and i feel like it makes such a difference in the hair i might actually go ahead maybe add one more right here this is one of those things where it's like do not try this at home i don't know just thought i would share i think a lot of times what stops me from sharing is me thinking of like what other people are going to say like sometimes i'll watch youtube videos and i see some mean comments and i'm like or even Instagram. I never think it's okay to be mean ever. It is what it is. Not everybody is going to like you, your personality type, things that you do. That's just life. Everybody likes different things and that's totally fine. And I feel like you, I am only recently like getting into that mental space and headspace for myself. So here we are doing my own tape and extensions. <laughs> it's like super bright. I made it a lot brighter, but I feel like this should be good. So I'm going to add another one right there like this is where i'm missing the most volume just sandwich it pick it up and when you pick it up the hair is like automatically going to stick to it you see and then you sandwich the other one on top again i'm not obviously you guys know i'm not a hairstylist I'm just the kind of person that I'm very DIY. Like I do my own nails, I do my own lashes. These are not professional lash extensions. These are um, very easy to remove lash extensions. But I feel like if I can figure out how to do something myself that's you know safe and not really damaging, then I will, whether it's hair, beauty, whatever. But wow, this makes such, such a difference. And I love the color, I love Lily hair. I feel like they have some of the best hair. 
I will leave my coupon code down below for you guys, but now I feel like doing another piece here and I actually really love the length. I kind of am sad that I cut this side because it kind of, but then again, it would look kind of weird in the back. So yeah, never mind. Hey guys, it is the next day. Got my holiday holiday blend from DD Double D this morning. My husband got it for me this morning, but it is such a gloomy day. I mean, it is ridiculously dark and gloomy and it's already 10 o'clock, almost it's like 10 minutes short of being 10 o'clock and it makes you not want to get out of bed. Haven't even made the bed yet. I did recurl my extensions because the I don't like how fresh extensions feel. I don't know if anybody else is like that. They just feel so silky and I don't know. I like when they're like a little roughened up and a little bit more coarse. Me personally, so I, I don't want to wash them just yet, obviously, because I just put them in. I have to do my skincare, probably gonna do my makeup. I feel so much better when I go ahead and do all of that. And like, even if I'm lounging around and wash my face and put on my eye patches, because that's something that I look like forward to other than my morning coffee every morning. I thought I would make this like a two day vlog because honestly, I do like to vlog and I love watching vlogs myself, and I say this all the time. Um, I know not everybody does, but for me personally, you know, everybody's different. For me personally, I do. And I was kind of going through the footage yesterday and I was like, um, I'm still always like second guessing myself. Like someone's going to think that's super rude. So whatever I say, I don't mean it to be rude. I've just noticed, I'm sure a lot of people notice that social media can be a huge space for people to just say whatever they want to whoever they want. I'm not talking about my experience in particular is just patterns that I've seen watching other vlogs and things like that. Sometimes I read a comment and I'm like, just like, why? <laughs> I guess because I wouldn't do it. Like I wouldn't go out of my way, like even though I disagree with something, okay, I don't like this. I don't go out of my way to type that comment out and let that person know because I'm not benefiting them. That comment is not benefit benefiting me, you know, unless it's like constructive criticism, like I said, that's different. But probably should have filmed this part, but I ended up Adding in two more pieces here on the sides in the back. I'll show you guys right here. And I've used these before and they stay in for, I want to say up to two months because then you don't want to, that's the problem with tapins is that you don't want to have too much growth because then the hair, let's say the tapin is all going down to here. You can have all this fine hair that is holding the weight of the tape and it's just not, I feel like it's not good when it gets that long. It can get tangled. It can, it's just not good. So you do want to remove it. I would say six weeks on average for me personally, from my experience. And then you can apply the new tape. The hair lasts in my experience again, quite a bit of time. So you can reuse it, just plop on a new piece of tape. So I can definitely see myself doing this and continuing this. Um, it's like a little DIY hack. Again, I can't believe I haven't tried this sooner. I was super scared, but I don't know. I'm really happy with it. My battery's literally dying, so I have like two seconds to say thanks for watching and bye.